guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit subscribe and tap the bell icon to be sure you get notified every time I post a new video. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to get the perfect military bun, and this is very easy. You don't need any socks or any sort of big additives. It's literally just your hair, a hair tie, some bobby pins, and some gel. It's a method that I really like and I thought I would share it with you guys. By the way, if you wanna see a video on how I do my makeup for the military, please give this video a thumbs up. That would really boost my motivation and will to live. Anyways, I'm gonna try and really get every angle. I'm sorry if it's not perfect. Let's start with what you need. Rat tail comb, easily. I have some water here. Usually I do this by my sink, but I have some water in a spray bottle. I just have a little handful of bobby pins. You don't need that many. Two hair ties, just in case, um, whether you want to secure it with another hair tie or bobby pins, that's up to you, but I just have two hair ties and a little elastic hair tie. Let's get started. My hair is actually really long. It's pretty much down to my belt. So this is gonna work for almost every length of hair except for like maybe really short. But I did do this style when my hair was right about here. As long as it's longer than your armpit, you can probably do this method. I like to do a middle part. You could do a side part, you could do whatever you want, but I think the middle part just works best. That's the way I've been doing it for a long time. It's used to being in the middle now. And then what you wanna do is you want to use your comb and just comb your hair into a low ponytail. Once you get it to like that point, you're gonna use your hands and you're gonna kinda like smooth it down, make sure there's no bumps. Put it in a low ponytail and try to get it as tight as you can get it. And then after you get it tightened up like that, then you can go back in with your comb and direct the hair over to the ponytail. If it's still kind of jacked up, you can take it out. Just hold the rest that's not messed up. And then use your comb to kind of like guide it. Now that you got it pretty tight, Suave Cita Pomade, I love this pomade oh my gosh i usually just take a little bit and then i kind of like wet my hand so that's what i'm doing there and i take it into like the tips of my fingers and then i just use my fingers to really make that part defined and no little hairs coming up this pomade the reason why i love it so much it smells amazing first you get a lot of product in here. It doesn't feel sticky in your hair. And when it dries down, it's not crunchy at all. And I'm just getting the edge parts near my ears because those seem to fray up first. And I really just use my fingers for this. I just think it's the best way, like that. You can put some gel up there, just loosely like that. And then use your rat tail comb and it just really helps make it look good. I like to get it a little bit wet with water. I'll do this with the sink water. Divide this into three sections and then I'll just start braiding them like normal. Go as far down as you possibly can, and then use your little tiny elastic. Secure that. Just like that. I like to wrap it from my right shoulder to my left shoulder. So if you're doing it on somebody else, it's counterclockwise. Like that. And then once you get to the end, could take a bobby pin, put it through the elastic, pin it into your bun, and kind of like tuck the tail in there too. Then where you want to place your next bobby pin is like right over where you tucked it in. So that would be right here. You can leave it like that, it's pretty secure. 
but I like to add a little bit extra security. Just go on the other side, push that in, and then one underneath. If you really want to, you can put them on the sides. So I'll just put like one right here. And one right here. And that is how I do my military bun. That is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, I hope to see you all in my next video. Goodbye.